Tinkerbell, here we come. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Totally forgot to film an intro, but hey, hey, and let's get on to this Tinkerbell Halloween tutorial. So now I am going to start off with the E Pearl palette. I'm actually using this cream blush and I'm going ahead and really putting those brows flat to my head as much as I can. Don't miss any spots. This first step is very important. Now I'm using the Kiss Pro Touch Powder and this has a banana undertone, like a yellowy undertone. This will also help cancel out. Most people have tend to have like an ashy, uh, more ashy brow than their actual hair color. So when you put just concealer over it, it is definitely going to come through and have a blue cast. So definitely cancel out with some sort of peachy or pinky cream product, that's what I say. So I did that step twice and then now I'm picking up this Tarte Shape Tape. This is a lot lighter color than I typically would highlight, but this is what it needs to cancel out those brows. And make sure you fan kind of in between, let it dry a little bit, that's gonna help it as well. Now I'm taking this Japanese loose powder and this is is more of your typical translucent powder it's sort of a little bit of a white cast and I'm just cleaning up around it and now I'm using the actual concealer color from the e pearl palette and again just make sure you stamp everything don't rub back and forth that's going to disturb everything that's underneath and we don't want that so I'm now I'm using the Too Faced this is a lot of concealer the Too Faced Born This Way concealer and this is the closest to my actual skin color powder it and there we're done with the brows Whew. Okay, now I'm using this beautiful palette from Huda Beauty, and I'm going to go all around my eyes. I'm, you can probably see me like looking back and forth, making sure both eyes are somewhat even, and I'm creating this shape around. So very flat on the bottom, and it gets kind of pointed towards the inner corner of your eye, and then it goes rounded up. Now I'm gonna be using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, and I'm just running that right underneath. We're gonna, this is going to create sort of a bigger eye. I really should have gotten contacts for this look. Those circle ones, the circle lenses, you make your eyes really looking big, but I did what I uh, had at home. <laughs> and then go ahead and you're gonna basically cut that crease in this sort of little bit of a moon shape. It's a little bit more rounded though. Now I'm going to set that uh, jumbo eye pencil with this light, like a light ivory color and pick up this darker brown shade and we're gonna start shading everything. So I went ahead and went, I'm gonna go over this with liner, but I'm first going to start to create some depth and I'm using a very little Smith eyeliner brush to do so and go ahead around and once you get close to your eyebrow, try to do again tapping and not try to blend and really push that product around. Now I'm gonna be using a liquid eyeliner and go ahead over everything and then now you're gonna create this little tiny eyelashes we are gonna put eyelashes on over top but this is going to help make it look a little bit more animated and then this is just me shading back and forth with basically all the colors that I showed you in the Huda Beauty palette and the eyebrow also is done with a couple of the shades in this palette here now I'm gonna go back and shade in a little bit more with this gray color this is just going to create a little bit more shadow make it look a little bit more realistic And also in the inner corner of the eye, we're going to keep the darkest point towards the eye and then br very slightly sort of brush it out closer to the nose area. And then I put on some mascara, nothing crazy because I really wanted the focus on, if you look at Tinkerbell, she has lashes on the outside of her eyes. I'm using the Lily Lashes in collaboration with Ash King Home and I'm going to place that right at the very corner. I cut them in half and then I doubled them up so I could really get that outer portion to look very fairy like I also took a little bit of that glue put it on the very top of my lashes and pushed them up so the outer corners lifted very high there I have a whole video I'll link down below on how to do that um, if you want a little bit more in-depth I use some for Sally drops because I want a very nice glowy skin and then the L'Oreal infallible pro glow foundation and I'm just going to town with my it cosmetics brush I'm picking up the Shape Tape again in the same color. I'll list every single product that I use down below in the description box. And then this, I really wanted to make my face appear a little bit wider at this area and sort of cancel out 
my nose like all of that any of that like bulk that anybody would have in the nose area I really wanted to cancel it out so go ahead to town with the concealer to really brighten it you could have even I, I could have actually even gone a little bit lighter looking back at this but yeah try to get the lightest shade that you have and then I'm just going ahead and fade it up the nose into the um, where my eyebrows actually used to be <laughs> now I'm using this morphe 9n palette I used the bronzy shade and then a little bit of that pinky shade, mix them together. I'm going around the nose to make that real button nose and then also going a little bit around the nostrils to cancel that out a little bit. I did powder it um, all over so it doesn't look so stark and then I went ahead with the powder and just carved it out a little bit. And um, now I'm just going with a detailed brush and doing that same sort of step again but just have a little bit more definition on the very edges and then again blend it out. Now I'm using the Artist Couture Illuminati powder and glow powder and I'm putting that right in my nose and you can go to town if you like a nose highlight this is your time to shine. Now I'm using the Smashbox uh, shaping foundation I think it is and I'm going around and trying to change my face shape. I tend to have a very um, square face because of the the length of my jaw it's a little bit wider so I was trying to cancel that out a little bit I'm going ahead and mixing all of these blushes from the 9n palette and then I'm going to pick up some more of the highlighter from artist couture Now I'm going to outline my lips. I believe this is a MAC Cosmetics uh, lip pencil, the one that was in collaboration with Caitlyn Jenner. Again, I'll leave everything down below. And I'm creating a different sort of shaped mouth. So I did put a little bit of extra concealer over my lip to cancel out the width of it on the sides because I wanted it to be very high at the top point of the lip. And now I'm using an Ofra Cosmetics uh, liquid lipstick. And then here I'm just making these little expression dots that Tinkerbell has and a little bit of the Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. All right, guys, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big fat like. <laughs> Bye, guys.